everyone! It's good to see you. This video is brought to you by a new subscriber, Isabella. She brought up a very good point. I've been using this bar for about four months now, and I should probably give a second review on how it's doing. And let me tell you, I don't know. Well, I didn't at first, because I hadn't really stopped to like think about how my hair felt while using Viore versus my regular shampoo. So if you remember from my last video, the Viore bar is supposed to make your hair shinier, softer, healthier, and it's supposed to grow faster. The regular shampoo that I used, this one right here, says that its formula helps add strength, elects, come on English, come on, I know you can do it. Elasticity, elasticity, yeah. No, yes, no, Yes, hydration and balance for healthy hair. Both products promise healthy and soft hair, but I can tell you now, only one of them actually delivered. So in order to know who was doing what, I used my regular shampoo for the first time in months, and this is how it turned out. I just took a shower, and instead of the uh, Viore bar, the shampoo bar, I used my regular shampoo that I haven't used in a long time, just to like see the differences. And like all that I can feel right now is that my hair, the texture feels, how do I describe it? It's it's almost like there is residue on my hair from the regular shampoo that I used. So right now that is the only thing that I've noticed that is different other than like without the Viore shampoo bar, my hair is also like a lot more tangly. Like when I tried to brush through it with conditioner and stuff like I usually do, it was like the brush was just kept getting caught. Like it wasn't going through smoothly. So those are the two differences. It feels like there's residue on my hair and it's a little more difficult to manage right now. So I'm gonna dry it and come back and tell you if there's anything else that I've seen that's different. Okay, so hair is dry. And let me tell you something. It feels like it's drier than a damn Mojave. I don't know how much drier it can get. There's also a ton more flyaways. Like if you can see, I don't know if you can, but like, it just kind of looks like my hair is staticky, where it's just like a bunch of like hair is just like sticking up. But this kind of makes me sad because literally from the roots to the ends, it, this, I just cut this and it literally feels like it needs to be cut again. It's that dry. A, my hair is heavier. I don't think that it's as like fluffy as it usually is. And it is 10 times more dry with my regular shampoo than the rice water bar. Like it's winter, so my hair is already extremely dry. I don't need it to be drier than it is. Like it feels like it's gonna snap off. So yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair with the bar next time and we'll see if the dryness or anything changes. So just to review, the organic shampoo made my hair feel like it was heavy with residue. In my own words, drier than the damn Mojave. Flat and I had a ton of flyaways. And I did not film the shower, which I wish I would have because that shower took me at least like 35 minutes to do. And I even had to add like a second dollop of conditioner to my hair because it was so tangly. Like when I was trying to get the brush through, wasn't happening. My comb was stuck. It was like the rush hour traffic on I-35 coming home from work type of stuck. So the next wash, I use the rice water bar. I'm sorry for my space heater going on in the background, but it's cold in here. I owe my shampoo bar an apology because it has done so much better than what I remember. Um, how like when I tried my regular shampoo, I was feeling like this residue and like heaviness on my hair. That's gone now. It feels light. It feels, I can't say soft, but definitely softer than it felt with my regular shampoo. I'm impressed yet again. Like, I have no doubt that this stuff does what it says. So I do think that is healthier for my hair, just given the feel on it. And I will come back to you once it's dry so that we can put it to the actual test and see how it looks. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is my hair dry with the uh, Biore bar and definitely 100% softer. It is not feeling like it's gonna chip off from here. Of course, these ends down here, they're a little dry, but with my regular shampoo, they literally felt like all I had to do was this and my hair would come off. Um, I think I have the same amount of flyaways, which that could be simply because it's winter 
the air is drier and my hair just nat naturally gets more staticky like that. But other than that, my hair doesn't feel like it has any residue or anything weighing it down. I think that it does look a little bit like, what's the word, fluffier than it did with my uh, regular shampoo. So yeah, I just wanted to do this as a check and I still stand by this product 100%. And when I brushed through my hair with the comb, it wasn't getting stuck. Like it wasn't as tangly as it was with the um, organics shampoo and it has not been as tangly since I've used the uh, rice water bar. But yeah, the drier my hair gets, the more tangled it gets. So I definitely need this rice water bar in my life. Now I can say with my full chest that the Viore bar did a hundred times better than my regular shampoo. I'm not throwing shade on organics at all. It was my go-to for many, many years, but the Viore bar does work better for my hair. Now compared to the 35 minute wash that I did, the Viore bar only took me 15. It was so easy to comb through my hair. And I think that's because the drier the hair, the more tangled it gets. I also believe that the Viore bar worked better because it had longer to sit in my hair. When I use my regular shampoo, I just use it first, wash it out, condition my hair, you know, protect the hair from getting washed for like five minutes and then I comb it out. With the Viore bar, it's the shampoo, conditioner, leave it on for five minutes, and then wash it out. I don't know if that helps with the hydration of my hair, but I am pretty positive that it does. The only issues I've noticed over the past few months is that my baby hairs haven't really grown. I maybe saw like an inch of growth in the first month and then after that, I haven't seen anything else. Plus, in the video, you can actually see that I still do have a lot of like pieces that are sticking up and it's like really staticky. That could be because of the shampoo. It could also be because it's winter and naturally my hair is dry AF. Even with those minor issues, Viore still delivered. She handled with care. My hair still feels healthier, still feels softer and absolutely more manageable. And before you click away, I actually recently got a new set of Viore rice water bars, both shampoo and conditioner, because I was wondering if the shampoo works really well, maybe the combination of the shampoo and conditioner will work really well. It's double the power. Now I got the waterfall scented bars because in their description, it says that it is specifically made for dry hair. I thought that I would try them out and see if they will help my hair through the winter because it's here and I'm suffering. I also signed up for their subscription that will automatically send you the bars after 30, 60 and 90 days. Now I've had this little shampoo bar for five months. And even though he's a little guy, he still packs a punch. And I did mess around a little bit with like su the subscription times. And I saw that you could actually customize the dates like beyond 90 days. So if you got a bar and don't need a new one after 90 days, you can push the date. Also, if you decide that you don't want the subscription after all, you can unsubscribe, which in all honesty, I don't think I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> so let me know down below in the comments if you wanna see a review of the Waterfall scented Viore bar. I'm probably gonna do one anyway, but I would love your guys' opinion. And while you just happen to be down there in the comments section, you know, since it's close by, there is a like button. And if you happen to like the video, why not press it? Because YouTube is all about that interaction. Hell, leave a dislike if that's what you're feeling. Speaking of interaction, if you wanna stick around and have fun, poke that subscribe button as much as you want. And that way you won't miss out on me doing random things. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye.